Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Box and this is my weekly vlog. In this weekly vlog I am wearing my Tyrion sweatshirt and it says a mind needs books which is awesome. So this week's comic strip that I drew was all about when I used to play at my nana and grandpa's house. So that's what I drew for my blog autisticinnerspace.wordpress.com and it's all about when I used to go to my nan or grandpa's house and what I used to want to do for playtime. So, so you can see that on my blog so I'm going to put it down and tell you. So one of the things I did was um, grandpa had a shed with like a bit of off gut of drain pipe and then he had a, a carrier bag full of these different um, sports balls so there was golf balls, tennis balls, soft balls and I used to get the pipe and from this shed down to the bottom of the garden it was a slope so I used to set up the pipe and then roll the balls down and they'd make all different noises because they were different according to their different texture and size and they'd all bounce differently and then my grandpa would stand at the bottom with a big um, garden bucket and catch all the balls and then say again again because it because I just let all the noises of them all rolling down the pipe and then bouncing with all different heights so that was one of my favorite things I've been looking at um because I had to get um, some of my childhood pictures out so I could make sure I drew everything how I wanted it and uh, it reminded me of my brother's game when we went to Nana and Grandpa's house I think his game was driving a bus so he, there's a picture of him with a, a, an old steering wheel a wooden stick and some deck chairs and it's a bus and he lines the deck chairs up behind him and all the teddies are on the bus so that was his game and then the other game I used to play was they had a little tin money box of a handle and it's all old coins in it so I used to tip the money out and put it back in the coin box and then they also had a fruit bowl with like plastic fruit in that as a decoration so I used to get all the fruit, plastic fruit out of the fruit bowl and then sort of set up a little shop because I've been obsessed with shops ever since I was little I've been obsessed with finding the gift shop everywhere and saying, Dad, Dad, is there a gift shop? I just, so this week on YouTube, I saw, I found, so I've been looking for things on YouTube that I could watch that, like, so, like, show me, like, touristy videos, like sightseeing by watching YouTube. So I've been watching a lot of videos where they just show you around shops so that's been really really fun because there's been vi I've been watching about video game shops and toy shops model shops hobby shops so the next thing I think I'm going to be typing in is shopping as a keyword so it's like I'm going shopping with people I just I just love shops so and then the other artwork I did this week was uh, inspired by a tweet and it was a tweet about a, a it was a tweet about Matt Smith and in a little interview he'd answered which doctor he would as Matt Smith he would most likely um, be companion to and he said the fourth doctor because he's got a big long scarf if he gets cold and that he can hide in hide in the fourth doctor's hair if he gets scared so somebody tweeted that and said oh oh my god that's so cute please somebody draw it so I volunteered to draw it and this is what I came up with so it's Tom Baker with his big hair and Matt's all scared and hiding in his hair so that was really fun to do that so I'm really pleased with that one I've got lots of finished picture ideas in my head including a sort of slightly rudish it's not rude really it's grown up but in my sort of picture making it's like I hang out with Tan 
hung out with nine. I, I hung out with nine. And I hung out with eleven. Um, like, and then like twelve, which is Pete Capaldi, is sort of like my my um. Well, I'll say I wanted to call the first picture the um traveler um yeah travelers no advent it's called adventurers reunited. I was gonna call it Big Bad Booty Call. When I thought, so in the f sort of fantasy, Pete Capaldi is is my sexy one. He's a sexy one, and I love the check trousers. I can't wait to see the checked trousers on screen. They look hot. See, that's the narrative in my pictures. But you'll see what the narrative is. So it sort of so it projects how I relate to each doctor and sort of my emotions for each doctor, what it would be. So 12, I think, so 12 is probably the only one that's my sort of sexy fantasy boyfriend one in the pictures but but I have a rule that is apart from the John Pertwee one which is an in-joke one and I'll be um, posting that with a video so you understand the joke apart from that I'm careful to do all my Doctor Who pictures as they are got the costumes on so it's not like it's David Ten. it's the Doctor. So I, I'm quite clear about that because I don't want to seem like I'm trying to nick anybody's bloke. But in this sort of fancy setup, the Twelfth Doctor is the sexiest one, definitely. Also this week, uh, there's a um, new program, Peter Kay's new sitcom, Car Share. This was already on I play the whole series has been at I play, but I just missed watching the whole series. But so on the TV we got the first two, and the setup is is two people and they work at a supermarket together, and the supermarket has implemented this car share scheme. So this this bloke he goes and picks up his colleague, and the. And basically the whole show is just sitting in the car with them and they're just nattering away on the way to work. So the first 15 minutes is on the way to work and then it, it, it just shows them driving into the supermarket. Then it fades out and fades back in with them coming back home again in the car. And I just love the radio station because Miss I mean, I like, I like listening to the talking, but most of the time I'm just dancing. I was totally dancing when Blue came on. Da -da 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 -da. All right, all right, let's do it. Really dance to that bit. So the radio station is my favourite bit. So that's cool. So when I've I've got some unboxings to do because I had some exciting mail this week. So and then went to film those I shall be taking my computer back downstairs and um use snipping out some collage pictures and thinking about thinking about which layer I'm gonna need and for which bit is gonna have to go on top of which other bit and stuff. So that's really fun. So yeah. Oh it's gonna see anything else I think. So I hope um, I think a uh, round of applause to everybody who's done really well at um, promoting autism acceptance. We did a really good month. Um, also, I have to say thank you for putting up with my grumpiness in the previous weekly vlog and thank you for the kind comments. I'm a lot better at doing my videos now because when I used to start doing my videos, you didn't get to see my grumpiness because when I made a mistake on my earlier videos, I'd get really, just really loud, I'd clap because that's one of my angry stims is clapping real loud and then I'd swear at myself. So I had to cut those bits out because obviously it was really loud and not very nice to watch. So I did used to get uh, a lot grumpier when I tried to film but that was because I was still learning to get my brain to like give me the speech at the right time and the right pronunciation but I'm, I've got a lot better at that so I do more like 
more of my videos just in one take nowadays but thank you for for the nice comments and understanding and stuff so yeah pole dark finished series one anyway it's going to be coming back i can't wait for the americans to get it i want to see what they think of it all the cornwall scenery and where, where, wherever they fall in love with captain pole dark i'm excited about that and then then this is the last weekly vlog before we go and vote so i'm really excited to vote and i hope everybody else is going to vote either for a party or go and vote to spoil your ballot so i'm oh, excited so well there will be exciting stuff in britain <laughs> next week oh yeah and the baby the royal babies arrived today too so i guess there'll be all like royal baby merchandise coming out and stuff so congratulations to the whole family at buckingham palace and everywhere so i hope you have enjoyed this little weekly vlog i hope you all have a really good week and have lots of fun thank you for watching yay <laughs>